morning. Hi Wendy, how are you if you can hear me? Yeah, good, thank you. Perfect, well done. How are you? I'm lovely, thank you. Oh, I've just put my change to um, gallery view and I was like, oh, there's lots of people here. I thought it was just you and I. <laughs> how is everyone today? Anyone broken? Any injuries I need to know of? No, no good, thank you. Perfect, that's really good. Lovely. Okay, and you're outside, Sam. Good choice. Good choice. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's going to be out soon. Let's hope so. <laughs> Not as hot as yesterday, though. I don't envy anyone that was working out yesterday. That was quite a different story, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, I'll give it another minute or go uh, or two just to get started because I think Janine is going to join us on Zoom as well. Um, boys and girls on Facebook, hi guys. Please make sure you have some water with you. Uh, you might also be comfortable having a sweat towel as well if you have a tendency to get nice and warm. So um, if you haven't joined me for one of these workouts before, they run in three blocks, but each block we will do three times. And within each block, there are three exercises. So we work for 40 seconds and we have a quick 10 second little rest. Uh, and that rest is just time enough to be able to switch between standing, sitting, lying down, whatever exercise it is that we're going to be doing. And there's a little mobilization at the beginning and a stretch at the end, all of the muscles around the hip. So you'll find we'll work as well as the glutes, a little bit on hip flexors, a little bit on the quads, a little bit on the hamstrings, just dependent on how the exercises themselves function. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, we'll make a start and I'll begin just by muting Zoom, popping the microphone in, heading over to the mat and starting the timer. So if everybody's good, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're OK. Yay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Microphone going in. Uh, we will mute. Excellent, and then hopefully on Zoom that will keep your view on this main screen here. Brilliant, okay. If you're joining us on Facebook, head your way over to that. We begin today standing. So let's make a little start with our timer. So you guys don't have to worry about keeping time for everything you can rely entirely on me. We're gonna start with the squat. So feet underneath your hips, toes forward or either slightly apart. Send your hips back and just gently, little squat to begin with, keep the chest up, gradually building your depth. So the speed is entirely up to you. If you're ready to work a little bit faster, you can. If you wanna just take it nice and smooth and slow, you can do that too. Gradually increase your depth so you end up where your hips are about the height of the knees, maybe a little bit higher, but only if that's comfortable. If you prefer to have a slightly less deep squat, you can do that too. When you're ready, we're gonna walk the feet a little wider, so increase the range of the squat here. Again, sending the hips back and down. If I show you sideways on, the chest stays up and the shoulders and elbows are about in line with the knees as the hips get sent out behind you. Good, lovely. Come back up to standing. We're gonna take a little step and tap, just side to side. So the knees are staying bent. You can have your arms in front of your chest or if you prefer here on your hips if that helps you to stay upright. So just step and tap to the side. Gradually coming a little bit lower, so you can sweep a bit lower through the middle without coming fully upright at the end. So we're loading the muscles a little bit more now. Getting some movement in there too, and starting to warm up the legs, the heart rate, and the lungs. Beautiful, stand yourself back up, right? Give the legs a little shake. We can do a little squat, and then a little jump in, a little squat, a little jump in. If you prefer, single, side to side instead. If it's manageable, squat in and out. You're not having to leave the floor for any particular height. You just gently pop into the side or step to the side, step narrow. Perfect. Well done. If you're doing the step to the side, step narrow, maybe you come a little quicker. So it almost becomes a little skip side to side. Good, lovely. And if you're pulsing here with your squats in and out, maybe you bring the tempo up a little bit too. Good, nice. Gradually come up right, give the legs a little shake. We're gonna swing our legs forwards and backwards. So let one leg hang nice and heavy and loose. Gradually increase the range, keeping it behind you a little more. If you want something to hold on to for balance, you can do that too. Change legs when you're ready. Little swing forwards and backwards. Try and keep the middle nice and firm. Let the weight of the leg and that bit of momentum take you forwards and backwards. 
Good, lovely, well done. Get the legs a little shake down here. So we've got 20 seconds before we begin. For our first exercise, we'll be on our hands and knees. So make your way onto your mat into a ta tabletop position. Spread your weight equally through your fingers, shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. And we'll take our right leg first. So after this bell, after this next bell, we're gonna bend at a right angle of the knee, flex the foot, keep the knee close to the midline, the heels and toes close to the midline, and we're gonna kick up towards the ceiling. All right, let's go, 40 seconds. So even weight through the hands. The knee can stay high, or if you prefer, bring it all the way down, bring it all the way up. The benefits of coming all the way down is that it releases a little bit of tension in the muscles, but you've got more work from the muscles to lift it back up again. The benefits of the knee staying bent and staying a little higher is you maintain constant tension through the muscles, but obviously they might fatigue a little quicker. Good, less than 10 seconds to go. So little pulses, lifting the knee, or using the full range, bringing the knee down, kicking it back up. And perfect, stand yourself back up. So we're gonna take the width of our squat to the width of the mat, so one wide squat, then step it behind you for a lunge, one wide squat, step it behind you for a lunge. So your lunge will stay quite wide as well, that'll help with balance. You can turn the toes out ever so slightly. Wide squat into the backward stepping lunge. Chest stays up, good, nice. And we're looking for, as we step back, about a 90, 90 degree bend in the knees or if you need to make a little bit less, you can. You choose the speed though. If you want to work quicker, you can absolutely do that. Just over five seconds to go. We'll come back into a tabletop, but for our left leg. Three, two, one. Well done, give the legs a quick shake. Into your tabletop, onto hands and knees. This time it's the left knee that we're gonna bend. Flex the toes. Bring the foot up, the heel towards the ceiling, and remember you can either kick with a pulse, or if you prefer, knee comes all the way down and all the way up. So you choose the range. Little pulses, remember continuous tension through the muscles, but they might fatigue a little quicker. The bigger range gives the muscles a little rest, tiny rest, but they've got a bit more work to do to kick up. You can swap with each round as well if you wanna try some with a pulse, try some with full range. You can do that, 10 seconds. Then we'll take a little break, water sip, relax out the hips, and we'll start again. Three, two, one, well done. Good time just to send the hips over the heels, take a little stretch forward, a big breath. <sighs> Quick sip of water, and then make your way back into your tabletop. In 10 seconds, we go back to the right leg. So bend the knee, flex the foot, kick the heel to the ceiling, in three, in two, in one. So on this round, I'm gonna take full range. Remember, you have the choice, full range or little pulses. What I want you to focus on now, whichever option you've picked, is pulling the belly button in towards your spine so your back stays nice and flat. So in lifting the heel, you don't end up arching the back. Keep the lower back lifted by pulling your belly button in. Good, well done, 15 seconds to go. Big kick back. Lift the heel, but the lower back stays firm. Just over five seconds now. Beginning to feel the heat <laughs> through the back of the legs. Three, two, one, well done. Up we pop to standing, give the legs a quick shake. Getting ready for your wide squat and the step back lunge. Chest up, three, two, and one. Squat, send it back. So hopefully you remember to alternate each legs as you step back. If you didn't, if you did one step back on one leg only, this is your round to switch it to the other leg. So send the knees out as you squat down. So the knees are following the line of your toes, but the chest stays up and the hips stay back. Over halfway, looking good. If you're ready to work a little harder, speed up, do a little more, and work at speed. Last few seconds now, breathe through it. Three, two, one. Well done, shake it off. Back to your tabletop, hands and knees, getting ready to lift up with the left heel, flex the foot, draw the toes down, and kick. So same choice, 
You can do the full range, knee down, and then the heel lifts all the way up, or if you prefer, make it a smaller range and pulse right up at the top. Good, well done. Looking lovely. Coming up to halfway, we scan through the body again, checking with the belly button, firming it up against the lower back, as the lower back stays strong and flat. Awesome. Less than 15 seconds now, and that'll be the end of round two. We'll repeat those three exercises one more time. Five seconds left. That's it, lovely. Awesome. And sit back, give the glutes a little stretch as you reach forward, have a quick drink. Wipe the face if you need to. Then in 10 seconds, last round for our tabletop position. Heel kicks towards the ceiling on the right side. I'm choosing to pulse this time, you mix it up as you need to. Let's go. So especially with the pulses, that's a really good one to check in with the lower back and make sure that it's not swinging and swaying. You can set your hands underneath your shoulders or a little wider, bring a little bit of softness to the elbows. And as you pull your collarbone forward, your shoulder blades slide down your back so you stay really firm. Good, nice, halfway, you've got this. Enjoy the burn, it's the last time we're gonna be doing these exercises. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Heel high, lower back flat. Nice. Less than 10. Very close, very close. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Hop yourself up to standing. Give the legs a quick shake. Let's get ready to squat and then step back with a lunge. Big breath. Shoulders lift. Drop them back and down. And we go. Squat. Lunge it back. Stay upright as you step back. Sending the foot behind you each time, 90, 90 degree bend in the knees, or a little softer if you need to. Your speed, remember, you can speed up, which is gonna make you work harder. Just make sure that you're happy with balance, and then you're not gonna topple yourselves over. 15 seconds to go. Let's do this. Squat and lunge. Nice, 10 now. Very close, very close, five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Back down to tabletop for the last time. This time the focus is on the left knee bending. Lifting the heel towards the ceiling. Pulses or full range. Let's go. Final time. So check in with the points that are in contact with the floor. The palm of the hand, up through the fingers, pads of the fingers. Your right knee, shin, and foot or if you've got the toes curled under, it's just gonna be the knees and the toes, whatever's comfortable. Rising up, strong right thigh, strong arms, shoulder blades drawing back, chest is up. We're over halfway. You've got this. 10 more seconds now. Breathe, 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 so close. We're here, four, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Awesome. Extra 10 seconds breather. Have yourselves a drink. We're going to start this next block standing up. Okay. In 10 seconds, we're going to go for a little crisscross squat jumps. So your option is either squat, crisscross, change legs, crisscross, or if you prefer, squat, curtsy lunge. So if you want to take the impact out, you're just curtsying behind. All right. If you prefer, crisscross. But you're keeping the knees bent. Good. Oh, there's a calm one going off behind me. <laughs> Good, so either crisscross or curtsy lunge. Curtsy lunge is a little dip back. One knee goes behind the other ankle or crisscross. Make sure that you're swapping the leg that goes behind and the leg that goes in front. Yes. So you've got an impact option or low impact. Five more seconds now. Land with bent knees, keep them soft, so you load your legs. Awesome, shake it out, shake it out. Down to the mat we go for hip bridges. We lie on our back, knees bent, pointed towards the ceiling. Squeeze your lower back into the floor and then push your heels into the ground to lift your hips. We're gonna go all the way down and all the way up for the first round. So your hips just brush the floor. Dig in your heels in, you'll feel your hamstrings and your glutes engage as you lift your hips up. Aiming for them to be the highest point. They won't be, it'll be your knees. But engaging the glutes to get the lift through the hips. Hip bones pointed up towards the ceiling. Good, a few more seconds to go now. Big breaths. 
Chin lifted up so you can breathe. Nearly there. Lovely. Good. Hands behind the knees. Kick your legs ahead of you so you can roll yourself up. And then we're going to come up to standing. Right, we're going to do a little squat pulse. Send the feet a little wider. Bring it down, lift halfway. Bring it down and all the way up. Down halfway, down and up. Good. So you've got a little rebound. Let the muscles catch you at the bottom and then squeeze to drive up. Awesome. If you can stay lower, you'll be working the legs a little harder. But if you need to come up a little higher for your pulse, do that too. Good, pulse it down, little rebound, stand. Awesome. 10 seconds now. And again, the speed is up to you. So if you're happy working quicker, go quicker, but check your control. One more. Yes. Shake it out, extra 10 seconds, well done. Give the legs a little wriggle. And then we come back to our crisscross squats, or remember the squat and a curtsy lunge. So with or without impact, it's up to you. Big breath, roll the shoulders out. We go in four, three, two, and one. So if you're taking impact, you're just swapping around, a little switch of the ankles, or squat and curtsy, squat and curtsy. And by keeping the bend through your knees, you'll feel the muscles and the tension being loaded. Either one, the knees stay bent, the chest is up, and you choose the speed. You'll find out though, that the lower you go, the more you bend your knees obviously, the more intense it becomes. So you choose how low you're bending. Last few seconds now, five to go. Lovely. Yes, shake it down. Onto the mat, hip bridges. This time we add a pulse at the top, like we did for the squats, but it's a top half pulse rather than bottom half. So dig the heels in, lift. Lower down halfway, lift again. Lower all the way. Lift. Halfway before you squeeze again. And lift. Awesome. Now by tucking your tailbone, you'll stop an excessive arch in your lower back. What I want you to imagine is that after your pulse, you lift higher second time round. Because naturally your muscles will get a little tired, a little lazy. You have to work them just a little bit harder to get that extra bit of height. So squat, add a little pulse, and squat hip bridge. <laughs> Squats in a minute. Then try and squeeze a little higher second time. Good. Hands behind the knees, rock up to standing. And we're into our pop squats again. Stand your feet outside your hips, up tall. We're gonna add two pulses this time as an option. So down, halfway. Stay down, halfway. Then come all the way up, beautiful. Down, halfway. Add another one. And then we squeeze. Up, beautiful. Nice. So again, if you can keep it low, get that extra squeeze to come up, loading the muscles more. Only if the joints are low, don't force the joints into positions and moves that's not comfortable for them. If you wanna come a little higher, do. That's absolutely awesome. 10 seconds left to go now. Let's get a couple more reps in. Chest is up, squeeze, beautiful. Nearly there, three, two, one. Shake it out, lovely. All right, third and final round. Crisscross squat jumps or squat with your curtsy lunge. Make sure you have yourself a drink. Let's go ready, five seconds. Final round. Shake it off and go. So this is the one where you know you're only gonna do it once more. With or without impact, maybe we go for a bit more speed. You can take a glance down at your feet. Make sure that you're landing them in a position where you're not gonna trip over. Yes. Coming up to halfway. Little race for the finish. Perfect, well done. Good selection of options. Picking what works for you. What's a challenge for you, no one else. 10 seconds to go now. I'm wishing I hadn't chosen this option. Because <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Shake off, coming down for your bridge. This time you've got the option to pulse twice at the top. Lie yourself down and we lift. So one pulse or two before you lower down. Heck, if you wanna do more, if you wanna do the pulses on their own, do that too. 
Good luck. <laughs> That's the choice that you're taking. So one pulse minimum, two pulses if you can, more if you're feeling brave. I say brave, you can interchange that for another word as well if you want. Keep breathing. Remember that extra squeeze, second and third time to keep the hips high. We're on the home stretch now, nearly there. Extra squeeze, ease it down. So close. Yes, knee hands behind the knees, roll yourself up to standing. And we'll begin upright. Okay, final round of pulses. This time, stay down for more. One pulse, maybe two, maybe three. You choose four or five. All the way over to you. Your workout, whatever you pick, own it. Working the muscles, challenging them, taking that little breath when you come up. I don't think I've seen Sam stand up yet. Are you all the way down? Oh, she's pulsing all the way. Halfway. <laughs> all right, Sam, I see you. I'm with you. Yes, nice. Everybody pulsing. Well done. Good job. Less than 10. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Keep the chest up. Five, four, three, two. Lift off. Yo. <laughs> Shake it out. Well done. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna do fire hydrants. We're coming back onto all fours, but instead of heel kicking towards the ceiling, you're gonna bend your knee and take it out towards the side, all right? Find your tabletop, right leg, let's go. Lift to the side, lower down, lift and lower. You can flex the foot or point the toe, it's entirely up to you. Squeezing a 90 degree bend in your knee as if you're just holding an orange or a lemon behind the knee crease. So you keep a little bit of tension through the quads, through the hamstrings. And then as your leg lifts, your glutes on the outside edge of the hip are gonna be working. 15 seconds to go now. We're gonna hop back up to standing for the next one and take our way to the back of the mat. Five seconds now. The sweat is dripping off my chin. Well done. Pop up to the back of your mat. Okay, we're gonna come down into a squat walk it forward in a squat and take a little hop so four walks forward take it down one two three and a little hop walk it back one two three and a little hop if the hop's not with you today just stand up tall and then come back to your squat of course you can hop higher or lower if you wish so as you walk forward keep the chest up stay proud little hop or stand and as you walk backwards, keep the chest up so you maintain balance. Little hop or stand. Yeah! You've got this. Really nice. Just over five seconds to go. Now you feel the quads working with a low walk. Nice. Back down to tabletop. Fire hydrant on the left side. So find your all fours position. Flat back. Foot flexed or toes pointed. Knee bent to the side and back in. Now your hips will let you know how high you can comfortably lift your knee. So keep that in mind. You don't have to work beyond a range that doesn't feel comfortable. Lift gently, lower with control. So this is not one to rely on momentum. Smooth, steady, knee up, knee down. And it will stay off the floor, just hovering off by an inch. And at the same time, you'll find your right leg, your supporting leg is also working. Five seconds to go now. Lift and squeeze, gently down. Awesome, well done. Send the hips back, take a reach forward, weight off your hands, breathe, drink, and we get ready for our tabletop with the knee raise on the outside for the right leg. <sighs> Round two. Find your tabletop, we're off in five. Add a pulse this time if you're feeling strong. Don't blame me if it burns. Here we go, lift with a pulse. Gently lower down, lift with a pulse. This is definitely going to create some heat. But what it does is it forces more control. You don't just let the leg fall away from you. You gently lower it down. Coming up to halfway. If the pulse feels a little strong, by all means, lower the leg all the way down and lift it all the way up. So work full range as an option for you. 10 seconds to go. Smooth and controlled. The slower you go with this one, the more effective it is. Three, two, and one. Well done. 
Pop yourself up, walk towards the back of your mat. So we come down, we stay in a squat, we walk forward for four, either stand up or hop up at the end. Here we go. Four little walks forward. Waddling your way to the front of the mat. Stand or hop, waddle your way back. You can use whatever imagery works for you in this one. <laughs> Let your imagination run wild. But keep the knees bent like you're stooping underneath the low bridge. Why you'd walk backwards, I don't know. But hey, that's what we're doing today. <laughs> walk it forwards, hop or stand, walk it back. 10 seconds to go. Can you get one more lap in? Let's see. Five seconds. Mm -hmm. We can feel it, yeah? <laughs> well done. Back down we go. Into your tabletop. This time the focus is on the left knee, left leg lifting, add the pulse if it feels good for you today. Little pulse at the top, gently lower. Lift, pulse, lower. Good. So of course, whole range, full range, up towards the top and gently down is absolutely available to you. Mix it up if you need to. Well done. Wherever you are, own it. Do it with control, do it with purpose. 15 seconds, and we just have one more round to go. Now we can stretch and cool down. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Lift and pulse, or come all the way up, all the way down. Five, four, three, two, one. Sit back, breathe and drink. Give the hips a little wriggle. And then prepare to find your tabletop for fire hydrants on the right side, last time. Okay. All fours, balanced, strong, stable. Add another pulse if you can. Uh-oh, here we are. 40 seconds, lift. One pulse is an option. Two pulses is a further option, gently lower. So you choose. You've got plenty of variations to make this your own. Like we did in the heel kicks towards the ceiling though, belly button in firm so your lower back doesn't move. Let the movement come from your hips and the legs, yeah. <laughs> Excellent choice on those extra pulses, man. It squeezes tight, 10 seconds now. Last couple of rounds, you've got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, pop yourself up to standing as soon as you can bear it. Walk your way to the back of the mat. Bring yourself into your squat. Let's take it down. Four steps forward, stand or hop, last time. So if you can, come a little deeper. Hop or stand a little taller. Make it worth it, make it worth it. Yes. <laughs> Sam and Ali, your timing is perfect. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Gorgeous. Nice, Wendy, well done. Give the glutes a little squeeze when you stand up. Tuck your tailbone, pull your hip bones forward. Just over 10 seconds to go. Can you get in one more lap? Forward and backwards. Yo! <laughs> nearly there, nearly there. Five seconds now. Get ready to come back down for table table last time. Hoop. Awesome. Hands and knees. Down we go. Find your tabletop. Draw your belly button in. One pulse, maybe two. Left leg. Let's go. Aye, aye, aye. You know, even just lifting it on its own is enough. <laughs> adding a pulse, mm, challenging. Adding two pulses, not quite as much fun. <laughs> 25 seconds to go, last working section. Stretch coming next, it's gonna feel awesome. Halfway, 20 seconds. <sighs> breathe through it, breathe through it. Maintain as much control as you can. 10 seconds now, you've got this, you've got this. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Briefly send the hips back, come off your wrists. Take a couple of deep breaths. Grab your bottle of water, have a sip. And then you're in your own time when you're ready, roll onto your back, lie down with the knees bent. Head, neck and shoulders on the ground. Perfect, from here, Extend your right leg up towards the ceiling, grab a hold of the back of the thigh, gently pull it towards you. So hamstring stretch, the back of the right leg. So although this wasn't a hamstring workout per se, 
because the hamstrings are genuinely involved in the hip structure, they will have been working through some of the moves targeting the glute muscles. Take your right ankle across your left knee, let your right knee drift wide, maybe you push it a wider if that helps. Reach forward towards your left thigh and then draw the shin towards you. Maybe your right ankle or right wrist, right elbow, <laughs> how many body parts can I mention? Right elbow against the right knee will help it to rotate a little more. Couple of deep breaths here. And then release, bring your right foot to the floor. You've got a grab of your left thigh already, so you can extend that leg. Gently pull the thigh towards you for the hamstring stretch on the left side. Try and relax head, neck and shoulders for a moment. Allow the left ankle to rest on top of the right knee. Release your left thigh. Let the left knee go wide. Reach through for your right thigh and gently draw it towards you. Left elbow on the left knee will help it to rotate a little bit more if that feels good. So you can deepen your glute stretch. Beautiful. Couple of deep breaths here. Nice. All right, release the legs. Hands behind the knees, you're gonna rock yourself forwards and backwards until you come up to sitting. Up we go. When you're ready, slowly stand yourself up. Take your time, lifting onto your feet. Perfect. Kick one heel up towards your hips, grab a hold of the foot or your shoe, squeeze your heel towards your hips. Now your knees are close together, but you're pushing the hips forward so that you're stretching the front of the thigh. It's a nice point just to allow the chest to lift. If you can deepen your breath a little more. Shake that one off, change legs. Opposite heel towards the hips, squeeze in tight, stand tall. Knees close, standing legs soft. Again, lift the chest, deep breaths in. Nice. All right, release that foot. You can turn lengthways along your mat, turn your toes out, stand nice and wide. As you breathe out, let your fingertips reach to the floor. As you breathe in, reach up, stretch. Now let's go again, breathe out, sweep the fingertips down. Breathe in, reach up. Awesome, give yourself a round of applause. Well done, half an hour glutes workout smashed. <laughs> You have been fantastic, thank you. Make sure you guys are having lots to drink for the rest of your day. I'll head my way over to the cameras. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I will hang around for anything that you're not sure of. Um, if you need to rush off though, then just give me a thumbs up, let me know that you were okay and you enjoyed the workout and I will see you again, same time next week. Yay! <laughs> Well done, everybody. Awesome job. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> I felt like a real burner today. Definitely felt that in the glutes. <laughs> well done. You were brilliant. You were really good. See you later, Sam. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. <laughs> she was so good. She really was. Um, we had her in the room in our crate, in our crate, in her crate. Um, she probably whined for about five or ten minutes and I think just sort of gradually wore herself out and then you could just hear she was getting quieter with less effort and then slept all the way through to half six. So yeah, she slept through, which is amazing. I'll, um, if you're happy to hold on, I'll pop my head around. If she's not sleeping now, I'll bring her out and you can have a quick look, so bear with me. <laughs> Let's go and see. Uh, no, she is having a little nap. She's due a she's due a feed, so no doubt she's going to be up and bouncing around everywhere. But um, as soon as she's had her her bout of vaccinations and she's allowed out and about, then I'm sure you'll be meeting her anyway. <laughs> she's dead cute though. Oh my god! And she was so good on the drive as well. Like she was a little bit anxious initially, um, and then she just like curled her way up my chest and had her paws over my shoulder and then stayed there. But we were driving into the sun, so it was really hot, and I was like trying to screen her with a little blanket whilst not making her hotter. Um, then I popped her down in the footwell where she had some air conditioning and then she was like, no, I want to sit on your lap again, so. Love her to bit, she's gorgeous. <laughs> so uh, yeah, as soon as I can, I'll bring her over and you can see her too. <laughs> Have we? Yeah, she's Daisy. 
Daisy, yeah. We went through so many different name options and um, you know, had different themes in mind and kind of decided in the end that we liked cute little old lady names, but there's a board, you know, there's, there's a, a limit to Ethel and Beryl and Cynthia and all sorts. So we're like, okay, and then, you know, just happened to both agree on Daisy. So it's like, right, if that's the name that we're both happy with, let's just keep her, keep her a Daisy. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> you'll see her soon. <laughs> Have yourselves a great Sunday. <laughs> Take care, well done. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for joining on Facebook. Um, and yeah, we we're just talking about a new puppy which has come our way who is gorgeous. So uh, you will see her very soon, no doubt. Um, I hope you have a great Sunday and I will see you again for another workout next week. Bye. <laughs>